All right, I've been playing with the throttle a little bit. I was hoping to be able to put the steel tubing in line with the roll cage, but that's not the case because there's not enough room for your foot and the throttle pot and everything. So unfortunately it has to sit on top like that or if I make something special, which I'm not going to do. And then this bar right here, this bar right here is gonna go something like that because the problem is the cage starts bending before I can uh, get it in the right position and I'll just have a plate that comes out for the location of that guy. Because the way I've got it set up right now is when you floor it, the pedal hits the, the pedal hits the, the cage right here. So when you floor it, you're not putting any stress no matter how hard you push on the throttle pot, it's all going into the floor pan. So that seems like it's gonna work out decently, although it's gonna look way less than optimal just because of the way the square tubing is going to be. But I'm just going to go, eventually I'll paint all that stuff red to where hopefully it matches. All right, because I have absolutely no idea what the total weight of this cart is going to be when it's all said and done, um, I don't know what I want for shocks. So because of that, I don't know the spring rates. I no idea what the dampening, because that's I'm not a shock person, don't know any of that stuff. but. The spring rates is what really has me most concerned because I don't want a spring that's too soft or a spring that's too hard. So in the interim, what I'm going to be doing is trying to make my own shocks or my own air shocks. So I can buy Fox shocks, but they're like 300 bucks a piece and I don't know exactly what I want just yet. I don't feel like spending 600 bucks on a pair of shocks just yet. So what I did is got schedule 80 PVC pipe and then and I've got this guy right here a little Presta valve I need to make a new one of these because I did not make the MPT deep enough so I couldn't get the tap deep enough to get the threads right but whatever just for now just for placeholders but and I'm in the process of cutting all of the PVC but the funny thing about PVC is they give you an OD, which is very exact, and they give you an ID, which is very inexact. This ID is nowhere near centered and nowhere near the size that they tell you it's going to be. So I uh, printed this to go into here, and it does not because uh, the ID is slightly off because they don't care about the ID. All the couplings or all the joiners are on the OD, and so that's what they care about. And for this tube right here, I had to go and get it bored out because, in theory, this tube fits inside of this tube, but because the wall thickness of this is whatever it is, they don't care, you, you can't fit this tube inside of here without it binding up because it's not uh, on center or anything. I don't know if you can look down there and see, but on some sides there's a lot of material missing, and on other sides there's zero material missing. So the wall thickness is all over the place, and you can kind of tell that the wall right there is thinner than the wall right there. And so what I'm doing is I 3D printed this piece right here. It's my jig. It goes on the OD of the tube because the OD is exact. And then I just run it around to machine out the ID as needed, like right here. And then I can, once I have that, here's one I've already done. This piece will now fit in it. And it is a snug, snug fit. For some reason I made this one a tight fit, but it helps if I get it in lined up. Yeah, I've already test fit one of these, and I know it works, but it's just how much garbage is in there to make it keep from going in. And doing it with one hand is also difficult, yeah. Nice snug fit, and it's got a little bit of a friction fit in there. So it's, it's basically exact. Yeah, if there's any debris or anything like that, it just makes it more difficult to where you can't get in. It's got to be clean. But that's where I'm at with the air shock. And then what I'm going to have is once I have the air shock done, then I will go over here and kind of figure out where I want my mounts and get that going so that I can have this thing resting on its own ability and not up on blocks.